Okay, hello, uh, camera one. We're going to get camera two going here. Then we're going to get uh, Microsoft. And we're starting the video capture on that. So, okay, we're going to be taking... Oh, I... Um, okay, we're going to be... And... Okay, we're ready to start here. Okay, we're going to take this out of here. And we're going to get the show started. Hello, it's Johnny Blyman, Cyber Cave Show. Here we go. Hi, everyone out there. This is Johnny Murder Computer Friend Punky, and it is time for the Johnny Blindman Cyber Cave Show yet again. Yassir is busy converting talking book cassette tapes to text for the line at this time she will be back next week, though. Okay, uh, uh, welcome to the Johnny Blindman Cyber Cave Show. This is show season two, show three, so it's on Friday, June 16, which is 2017, uh, show copyright with TV. Okay. Go to com to join up with all my friends now. Okay, let's get this show started here. Okay, we're going to uh, start the... Okay. We're going to get the music started and we're going to get going. How about some cool programs for your phone and computer, Uncle Johnny? Okay, let's have some then. Okay, how about the website, Dog Vision? Okay, Dog Vision. That's a cool site. Uh, you, you can put your picture into uh, it's dogvision.com, and you can put your picture into that, and um, it will go through a whole bunch of uh, cool little things, and and it will and, and it will let you see what your dog is, is seeing. It's really cool. I've got no idea how they do that. I can see the dog's head, but uh, it's no, no idea how they would do that at all. But it, it, it was a pretty, it's a cool site. You want to see what your dog looks like, or what you look like to your dog, or what a tree looks like to a dog, or something, and or another dog looks like to a dog. You can go in there and and check that out. That's dogvision.com. Go to www.midwayarcade.com now and play over one million games all free. Okay, Midway. That's a that's a cool arcade site for people who want to play games. Now you can you're you're able to download the games on your on your computer now with with the uh, Sega's coming out with one with 32 games for the Sega Master System, and Nintendo's already got one coming out. Uh, all the old games are all coming back, guys. And uh, the, the old games we used to play in the 80s, uh, uh, you know, uh, Mario Brothers and Sonic the Hedgehog, it's all coming back to us. Okay, let's hunt the internet, kids, shall we? How about weather underground? Sorry, no turn on that site either. Okay, Weather Underground, that's a pretty cool site. Uh, um, it, it'll let you know if it's raining, it will start raining on your screen. If it's sunny, there'll be a little sun, a sunshine. There's clouds. Clouds will start drifting over your screen. <laughs> it's, it's kind of weird. And this is like right up to date. So this is like right above you. So if you want to go uh, to, you know, go to the store in 10 minutes, but it's raining, you just check that app and see, oh, it's going to, it's going to, there's going to be a 10 minute break in the, in the rain. So we're going to go out right now. So that's a real cool site right there. And the last one is my friends from my old school go to YouTube and ask for WRMS mornings to see what my blind friends are doing this week. New show starting in the summer called Blind Cool Tech TV with your host Johnny Blindman in memory of Larry Scootcom. Okay, Larry Scootcom. He was a, a blind guy. I've, he's got a lot of cool podcasts. I'm going to be putting them on. They're all on SoundCloud right now. But I, I think the guy died because his podcast podcasts are just really cool and he hasn't done any since 2005. So this is kind of like a tribute. I'm bringing the Blind Cool Tech Show back and it's going to be a TV show and a whole bunch of blind people are going to be involved in it and uh, it's going to be really cool for blind cool people this summer and have something to do before you go to school or before you go back to work or whatever. We're going to have um, uh, tours and tapes and just a whole bunch of different stuff. Okay, the news now, Uncle Johnny. Okay, now for the news. It's been a hard week. Land. News from last week. We did not get to it, though. Oh, 
okay, the thing about my camera is my computer is now not connected to the internet at this time because the cameras are not really safe out there. Uh, uh, Windows cut the camera, cut the logic, uh, cut all my cameras out, so they don't, they don't even work on the internet uh, anymore because they found out that the uh, the makers of these cameras, you know, they just don't care. There's 17 vul vulnerabilities to cameras. They can get into your system. They can do whatever they want. They can stare at you. But Spanky's got the other thing about Chrome and what it is. What is it, Spanky? There is a problem with Chrome if you have a camera. What is it? If you see a red dot with a circle around it on the tab you are being recorded at this time by the website you are on. That's right. If you see a red circle with a little red dot in the middle of it, up and up at the top of your taskbar, it's really, really small. But if it's, a, if it's a circle without a dot, it means that you're activating your camera, but they're not recording it this time. But if there's a little red dot in that little circle, on some sites, not all of them, it's right beside the, the, green, um, uh, the green padlock thing. So you can click on that uh, green padlock as well. You can click on everything. But I'm just going to keep my cameras off the internet for, for now until I get, get this thing fixed or they get it fixed, which they probably won't. Have you seen this one until Doggy Facebook is now using bots to do their dirty work for them? <laughs> if you see an update for either Flash or Dharma, do not think it is not an update at all. Okay, if you see an update for Flash or, or Java on Facebook, it, it, you know, or you need to update your Flash player, don't do it. It's not Flash at all. It's something, and it's it's something that Spanky's going to tell you exactly what that little guy is. What that flash, it's not Flash player. Lots of people are affected by everything it seems. If you see a link or story like that, it is about wanting to know more about you. Do not click on anything you do not expect as well. Don't click on anything you don't expect. Don't click on nothing. Even if your friend, you know, your friend might have been been hacked by it. like this um, the memorial ribbon virus that was going around last week. Everybody just oh, uh, 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 cancer survivors and everything. That's that's not your friend sending you that because I got it from about five or six different people, you know, around this area. It's not around the world. Just around this area, uh, the people are clicking on that. Yeah, it's not all, all, but in other parts, there's a whole bunch of different stuff. They just tug at your heartstrings. If someone, you know, they know even more about you than, than you can ever imagine. The show is getting a little bit long here. If your friend sent you something like a photo or anything, your friend might have been bitten by this nasty bird on Facebook. Okay. If you see it, just scroll right past that Okay, scroll right bird. past it. It'll go away. It, it'll just... It's just Facebook wanting to know who and what you're doing. Oh, what kind of Star Trek character are you? Are you Java? Are you, um, uh, you know, are you, are you R2-D2? Don't go to that because they're just asking those questions. Who cares what kind of Star Trek character you are? How about a song now, Johnny? Okay, what one? Play Rhinestone Cowboy if you can. Okay, we're going to play Rhinestone Cowboy then, and then we're going to be ending the show here. Because the show's getting a little bit long. There's just a lot of stuff here. Okay, we're going to click on. To turn this up. Okay, Rhinestone Cowboy.
Okay, that's just for memory. I didn't practice that at all. That's just me and the, the <laughs> keyboard. Okay, next one. Now we're unlocking the new this week for sure. Okay, let's just go right through this. You can buy yourself a five thousand dollar Apple computer, though. That is the cheapest one. It's the eight thousand dollar five thousand dollar computer for Apple. That's what they came up with. with eighteen cores, jewels, my antifreeze, Who needs eighteen cores and it? Eighteen cores and antifreeze. Oh my gosh, Apple! What are you doing? You have a mouse from PowerPoint. Will now drop a virus to your stuff without even clicking on it. Oh, oh my gosh. Yep, they hover, the hover virus. They got that from PowerPoint. It's, now you can get a bug with, it, it just came out a couple days ago. We're still trying to figure it out. Uh, but apparently you can get a virus just by hovering over something in a, in a website. Um, it's something from uh, PowerPoint, the ability to hover over something during a presentation, you know, so to be quick, so you don't have to click on it. Now they, uh, some hacker has taken that part of the program and taken it out and hooked a virus up to it. All Intel chips have a chip. This all camera mount there are not safe to you on yeah, the internet anymore. That. Either until dogging the people who made them do not care at all, though. Yeah, they don't care. The, the cameras are sold, so they don't care whether they're they're broken or not. We're getting to the end of the show here. Well, that is it for the yep. show for this week, Johnny. Yeah, that's the end of the show for this week. Like normal, you can get a hold of Johnny anytime. How did you do that? Chat to him at Johnny Hampson on Facebook, or watch his video on YouTube and SoundCloud. Lots of cool stuff to waste your time on for sure. Yeah, waste your time watching me. This is Hanky saying keep safe on my internet, people. It is not safe out there anymore. See you all next Friday for my next Cyber Cane show. This is Hanky saying we are out of here. <laughs>